Way back in days of old, there was a legend told about some warriors and warlords. They came from far and wide to choose a battle side and fight for victory with duct taped swords. Thus, the arts and science classes offered music, meat, and merchants' property. Yay! You've made it here today. Now settle in to stay and let us bring you song and court. All right. For our dread stars, they've traveled very far, Majesties Abelin and Conrad. And for their able heirs, for whom our kingdom cares, Cadian and his fair Cassandra. Plus, the barons and the baronesses, all the strength the crown possesses here, with populace and peer, the bar is in the rear, and thus ends my successful court. We already have the first, their majesties have graced us with their presence, and we have the second, the good populace of North Shield, and what populace can be better, huh? No. That was weak, come on. No. But they do need something to bring them both together, and that is the heralds. And today, I see a herald of North Skogan, a herald of North Shield, and a herald of Yara Vettler. So this is in tribute to the heralds. Here be heralds three, oh yay, oh yay, please hear their plea. They come from the court of North Shield's royalty, with never a stutter or mumble. Oh yay, good gentles, we'll call to thee. Oh yay, oh yay, please hear that plea. Listen to announcements from court, do not flee, with never a stutter or mumble. And here, good gentle, they'll help find a name. They'll call you by the send, they'll declare a claim. Hey, play stump the heralds, it's their kind of game, with never a stutter or mumble. And he that would now have a device, they'll help you with colors, it's kind of a vice. They'll submit it once, probably also twice, with never a stutter or mumble, and here be Harold's three, the, here be Harold's three, oh yay, oh yay, please hear the plea, then come from the court nor shields royalty, with never a stutter or mumble.
long years of combat which you have striven to defend the lands of North Shield have made you styled as venerable griffins. However, there is one who is missing amongst your ranks. And rather than immediately call them forward, I would like... Baroness Katarika has prepared a very special song to announce them into court. There is a rule in North Shield when you've been here a while for continuous authorization in any fighting style. We Conrad and A. Glenn no one who fits this mold. It's Tom Tin to Nabulum's award for getting old. <laughs> From the battlefield on the Star Shield Day, heading all the squires in tourney or melee. They got this griffin of their shield, so kind and venerable. It's Tom Tin to Nebulum, so we're forgetting old. <laughs> Some griffins may retire, relax in their state. Others find a pasture to be calm and sedate. But Tom will keep on fighting. Be it people or microbes. <laughs> it's Tom Tin to Nabulum, so we're forgetting old. Your Grace. It does me great pleasure to be able to award you this. Uh, fine scroll for your aged, uh, <laughs> aged perseverance. It's a very youthful scroll. The scroll was done by Clinton and Panorik. Congratulations. Many good years. <laughs> For the venerable Tom Tintinabulum, Viva! There are songs from the West that will thrill you. There are songs from Kai that take flight. There are songs from the East that will kindle your blood. Battle and honor to fight. Atlantia's muse longs for beauty. Palantir's will only sing war. But when North Shield sings of the Griffin, it's the sound of the love in their soul. They'll sing you the song of the Griffin in war and the song of the Griffin in love. As they raise up their voice to the great northern star. Black and in gold, filled with snowflakes, and fishes and light. Or spin you a tale of a great inner sea, and so keep that sparkle so bright. They can tell you the sound that a cow makes, and they'll laugh with the light and surprise. But it's the song of the griffin that stirs them, and the light you can see in their eyes. Of the griffin in war and the song of the griffin in love. They raise up their voice to the great northern star that hangs in the heavens above. There are days when I wonder where this road will be. Will I stay here or journey again? There are times I remember my distant homeland. Yeah. <laughs>
And the song of the griffin in love As we lift up our voice to the great northern star That hangs in the heavens above While the plumber pack the drink and pour it out to you, we shall pour out for you. For as strong as the throng that course is up for war, stronger is the course of shielders of the warmth. For as strong as the throng that course is up to war, stronger is the course of shielders of the warmth. See the barrows flowing forth, feel the cool so nice. Soak up all the mealies, eat and wake up their delight. And wake up fighters light. Stars of buckets, battles, aids, brace against sun's might. Wet the thirsty's gratitude and see them all renewed. It's all due to you. For as strong as the throng that course is out to war, 
Stronger is the force of shield yourself a form. For as strong as the throng that course is out to war. Stronger is the course of shield yourself a form. Stronger is the course of shield yourself the warmth.
recognizes all the work his subjects do. His attention might be subtle, but be assured he does see you. He sings for the unsung and praises with a giving heart. Whether in court or on battlefield or on the fire after dark. I am but a hatch knight, said my lord when we first met. And were he still a simple hedge knight, he'd ensnare me in his net. A hedge knight might have little more than honor, some would say. Well, in his heart he's still that hedge knight, and he honors me every day. A hedge knight might have little more than honor, some would say. Well, in my heart he's still that hedge knight, and he honors me every day. At this time, their majesties would like the counsel of their companions of the Order of the Bear. Roar!
indulging us in our musical interlude. We hope you enjoyed it. That was awesome, Your Majesty! the singing to her majesty because she's phenomenal she's she's the best i love her Aww. and in talking to people all around the kingdom we really searched hard and long and and we received some very 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 passionate um feedback about who this award should should receive it. Um, there was a lot of worthy people and we looked at the people who have the bear, these pillars of our kingdom. Everything that we could hope for in North Shield. And we had an interesting problem is that there were quite a few people that, that people told us fit this mold. There were people that said you you should have them join that group up there Run away. and we asked and we talked to people and um many of our peers know that we uh that we sought their counsel on this for a long time and uh the wisdom of our peers is truly profound and we have decided to heed their counsel Mistress Marguerite, would you please? <laughs> Mistress Marguerite, the the words that were spoken in your favor and your behalf, the, the love of the populace of North Shield, um, their, their talk of your, your uh, selfless devotion to leave whatever you're doing at the drop of a hat to help others for many years is uh, truly inspiring. And we are very proud to be able to do this. <clears throat> we, Conrad and Avelyn, by right of arms and inspiration, King and Queen of North Shield set forth these words to be heard, carried, and spread throughout the known world. It is well known in the great works of service, selfless acts, and contributions to the kingdom of one Maestra Marguerite Medicus. So vast is her word fame, and so much has she given to the kingdom that there is but one thing that should be done for a gentle of such renown. Those who embody the spirit of North Shield should be styled in a manner that it befits that state. Be it known from now until history passes us all that we do hereby create, Marguerite, a bear of North Shield. Yeah!